personally when i saw the story on social media first of all i felt so sorry for her Mm -hmm. because again i don't think it's fair for any parent to bury their child i think it should be like as children we should be the one burying our parents Mm -hmm. and not vice versa so Mm -hmm. first of all i was sorry for her Mm -hmm. number two when people pointed out about her being a toxic mom I really wanted to understand her point of view because again we don't have a story. Mm. So I don't know if really you are a toxic parent or maybe as a parent you had tried everything you could with your child and now maybe your child is also taking this like toxicity and it's not because even parents were raising the issue of we are raising a generation where people have the voice and even if you do any small thing, we just see during our time at a mwakwangekunyuanyuele. <laughs> well, no, no, but don't append, no, no, it need discipline. Another thing with with how things run in Kenya is, as as Kenyans, we're always fast to to judge. Yeah, like very fast to around, react. Eh, and to react, things turn around in a massive way because even with this whole story of Nyaboki losing a child, mm-hmm. I've not had anyone say. See to scare idea and your yeah, mm-hmm. like what do. happened? Mm-hmm. Like why are we just buying this idea and not hearing from the parent? Mm-hmm. Because again, I believe a kunanga parenting style. Mm-hmm. Kila mtu ana try. Yeah. Ana ona nye mimi hii ndio mimi naona ina work. Mm-hmm. Everyone akuna time menu ya venye unafa ku parent mtoto. Mm-hmm. So, I would really love to hear her side of the story. Maybe she has something totally different than what we are getting. Mm-hmm. 